victory. You know, in the 23rd Psalm, he said, Yea, do I walk through hey, the valley of the shadow of death. No matter how it looks and seems, you got the victory. Amen. Amen. Then just you going on through it. Amen. And I thank God for the going through camera. You going to sing a song when we get ready? Amen. Now we're going to call camera right. Say now we're going to get in the word. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. The victory over whatever. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I will just give you all the praise and the glory. And we ask that, you know, as I sing, that you just come down and be with us as we worship you.
thank God for a breakthrough today. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Look over at somebody and say, thank God for your breakthrough today. Thank, thank God, God for your breakthrough today. Thank God for your breakthrough. Yeah, thank God for your breakthrough. It's just how you receive it. Thank Amen. You thank you. And I thank God for it today. Amen. Amen. Yes, I give God the praise and the glory for breakthroughs. Amen. Amen. I feel thank a breakthrough. You. Amen. Thank you. I'm telling you, I ever since God had me up doing my devotion early this morning. Amen. And it was amazing. I was sleeping. And I never heard a plane get that low. Amen. I heard the plane. Amen. And then I heard this popping. Amen. And I got on. I laid that minute. I, I, I got on up again to do my devotion. Amen. And begin to seek the Lord. And begin to cry out and read the word. Amen. Then later on something else came up. Then another thing come up. And I mean I didn't get no more rest. No more then hell come and knock at the door 5.30 in the morning. I, hallelujah. But I thank God. Amen. I didn't allow the enemy to come into my natural door. Come on, y'all. Amen. So he can't come into my spiritual door. Amen. 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 See, you got to realize what coming at your door. Amen. Amen. And I thank God today. Amen. And I thank God that it is a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Anytime Amen. something keeps hitting you back to back, there's a breakthrough. Yeah. Amen. 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 It's how you receive your breakthrough. Amen. 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 And I thank God for the breakthrough Amen. today. Amen. Amen. So we're going to turn to Matthew, the fourth chapter. Amen. And my topic is talking about how the living, the living, what you're living by. Amen. Jesus was talking about. What man shouldn't do. That's why I got this bread here. I want y'all to look. <laughs> we're so caught up in living in the natural so much mm -hmm. that we lose battles. Yes, we, we lose what? We lose our place. We lose who we are. We lose where we should be going because we so in the natural. Mankind got so in the natural now that they don't even know who they are anymore. Amen. We find ourselves doing crazy, stupid stuff. Amen. amen. But Jesus is going to show us today, amen, how we are beginning to act and how we reacted yes. and what we're doing while we ain't having the victory. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, we should have victory over stuff that shouldn't even bother us. Yes. Right. Amen. Stuff that we should have been done grow over, we should have got over it. Amen? Amen. And I love one thing. If you listen to the Spirit of God, what He's trying to say, where we at, and we are, we're not bonded off. You never bond yourself with the natural. Yeah. The Spirit always, always, always ride the natural. Amen. But what has happened, the natural is overriding the spirit and it oppressing it. So when you oppress the real you, yeah. then that's the that's the false you. Amen. I'm gonna put that the false you rise up that which is your flesh. Amen. That's true. It's false. It caused you to get in trouble with God. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Amen. Not in trouble with man. It called you to get in trouble with God. So when you get in trouble with God, God had to either chastise you or wipe you out. Yes. Right now. Yes, amen. Now that's the word. I can't. <laughs> See? I view myself as I should have been further than what I am now. But when I allow my flesh to override my spirit, man, I can't hear what the spirit is saying. Yes. Amen. 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 So I'm going to show you one thing about Jesus. He was led by the spirit in the wilderness. Now what leading you? <laughs> Amen. So I'm going to show you, you know, I like the way Jesus did this to show us by the Spirit, how we can overcome a lot of things. Amen. So we're going to start at verse 1. The main one, I'm going to verse 4. Amen. So come on, uh, Sister Leslie. 
Matthew 4, because I got nine scriptures. I got to get them. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. All right, the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness. All right, I'm going to let y'all know y'all in the wilderness. Amen. 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 All right. Yes. This is where y'all at right now. You in the wilderness. And in the wilderness, that's dry. Yes. It's like a desert. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you can't see nothing. You can't feel nothing. You dry up. I just bought my hair was so dry, I put lotion on it. I, I lotion my hand. It didn't do that. I had to go get some Vaseline because I was what? Dry. Yeah. <laughs> so the willingness, you in a dry place right now. Amen. Come on. Amen. All right. He done, the Spirit done led you in a dry place. All right. Look what it says. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward a hunger. Okay, Jesus fasted for those days, and his problem was in the flesh. He hungry. Yes. That, that, that's how the enemy came at Jesus, because Jesus was hungry. hungry. And that's the flesh that be hungry. hungry. So I don't know what you hungry about. <laughs> I don't know what your problem is, and I ain't trying to dig in. But that's when the enemy come at you when you is in a predicament of being hungry. I put it like that. So he come at you when you at your weakest moment. Amen. <laughs> All right. Let Lou Wesley say it. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, Command that these stones be made bread. Okay, he told me if thou be the son, God will put it like this. If you know Jesus, what? Well, that, that's where he asked y'all, where you God at? Ooh, yes, he does. That's where he's telling y'all, if you know the son. Do you know him? That's when he trying your, your faith. Amen. He trying your faith when he asked you, where you God at now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who you serving now? <laughs> Girl, that's why I'm going to get the pole. We'll wait a second. <laughs> but he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. All right. Jesus had a what? Answer. Mm -hmm. He said, It is it's written. Everything about you, predestinated and perfect, is already written in the heavens. Yes. When God got it written out for you, it got to follow the plan that God had written out for your life. Amen. Amen. So when he told me it is written, man should not live by. And I just question him, what you living by? What you living by? Jesus knew what he was living by. Jesus said man should not live by. Bread. bread. And what we live by, we live more by the bread. That's why I put the bread here. We live more by the bread than we do the word. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We live more natural. The world system is so caught up with natural things, Amy. And when destruction comes, everybody get crazy. Yes. And he done told us these things gonna be there. Yes. So we so in the natural till we get in a place that we lose our faith, our confidence. We don't even we don't trust God. We begin to trust ourselves. Yes. But Jesus said, "Man shall not live by bread." Cause remember, Jesus was home. <laughs> And, but he said, but every word, we should be living more by the word than we do the bread. That's true. Amen. That's true. Amen. Some come up, you know the scripture, you've been taught the word, and the word done got you so, I mean, y'all so fell out the word, and ain't speaking, they just molding. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus. So when something come up, you forget the word. word. You won't speak it. No. You won't believe it. No. You just believe what you see. That's right. Amen. Jesus. So that's why Satan don't mind standing back and waiting on you to get in the spot. Mm -hmm. 
Then he come after that. He ain't coming after you. He coming after word. He coming after Jesus. He trying to bring your God down, not you down, but bring your God down. He already pushed you down. You already down. He ain't never push you down. Mm. He not push you down. Say it ain't gonna, he ain't studying you here. Mm -hmm. What he studied is to get that word out of your heart. You ain't never like this to him. He said. But the longer you speak the word and allow the word to stand up in you, he have to back out because it ain't him. Uh, he ain't backing off you. He backing off with Jesus. Him and Jesus Amen. doing like this. Amen. He said, I dare you. When you speak the word, he can't cross the line with the word. Amen. But long as you ain't speaking the word, he just crossed the line to you like the... Amen. <laughs> Because we eat too much natural stuff. Does that make sense? Amen. We eat too much natural. We're not living off the spirit. Amen. We ain't hungry for the spirit. We hungry. Give me that. Go to the buffet. Give me all that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. I'm going to show you some more. So you're living by the people live by the word, not bread. Just, he said, every, okay. But every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So God already done proceed out of his mouth for you today. Yeah. What your day he already done spoke it out of his mouth. What proceed out of the mouth of God? It might be trouble today. And ain't so much the trouble is gonna overtake you. He trying to show you where you at with him. I'm going to show you the word. That's true. That's all God trying to show you. Where are you at? That's what he's doing. He ain't saying he's going to take over you, but he want to see where your heart at. I know you want to see where folks at with you. Amen. 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 So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the word. Let's go to Deuteronomy 8. One and three. I'm going to show you. My God, thank you. You are on eight. One through three. Now look what you're going to say. You are on eight. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do. Sign it all the day. I'm going <laughs> to. Today. <coughs> I'm going to show you the command that you need to. What? Observe. To do. He wants you to see that you this is what you got to do. That what? That ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your father. See, the God through Jesus is keeping the commandment of the ancestor, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. He's keeping all those commandments. But in the midst of and he wants you to live. He wants you to multiply. He wants you to increase. He don't want you to stay the same. Amen. Yeah, that's true. Amen. You can't stay the same. He wants you to multiply. Multiply that means more than one. <laughs> he wants you to increase. More increase. Jeff, don't just satisfy with that house, or he might have several houses for you. Amen. Then you won't have to work no more on no job. Then you be working for him. Amen. He wants you to multiply. Amen. So multiply means you change. Amen. Okay, what else is And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee. These 40 years in the wilderness. So you got to remember what, how he leading you. Mm -hmm. We used to forget. Yep. He leading you out of the wilderness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he lead you the way he want to lead you. He just ain't going to take you out. You remember when we said, yeah, do I walk through the battle of the shadow of death? I feel no in the midst of my walk is some stuff falling off of me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Come on. It hurt. Yes, yeah, Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. It hurt me when my arm fall out. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It hurt me when I had to find out how somebody feel about me and hurt. Amen. But I need to know that because they can't go in my land. Amen. 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 That might be a, 
uh-oh, with a cake of room trying to eat up my corn. How can I multiply my corn all ate up? Amen. 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 Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's get this. Let's get this. Somebody eat your stuff up. Yes. So he wants you to see where they at. Yes. All right, let's 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 do God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Thank you. And what he doing to me when he leads me in the wilderness? To humble thee. To hump thee. All he doing is trying to what? Um, humble me. Is, is that hurt? To humble you? No. Don't you know sometimes you get so mad and you miss your own stuff and talking too much? Amen. So he needs you to shut your mouth. Amen. Yes, Lord. So many pride folk. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get them. Uh, I'm gonna get them towed, and that day you got your hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's in the place, but you done told me I will. Uh, and you told me I put my money back in my pocket. Amen. 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 <laughs> he trying to harbor you. He trying to multiply you, so he got to get you in the position to trust him yeah. in the harmonious, so you can he can take from the wicked to give to you. In the last day, he said, I'm gonna take from the wicked to give to the just. He can't give you your stuff and you act against the mean as that. To harm you. Now he needs to harm me. And to prove thee. And to prove. Now he's trying to prove something to you. <laughs> he trying to prove you. What he tells you trying to do? To know what was in thine heart. So he want to know what's in you. Now he checking you. Uh -huh. He want to know what's in your heart. If God was to give you all this stuff that you done asking for, and you ain't got hum, <laughs> you ain't got me, we'll mess it up. We'll jack it up. That's what he do. If he said you had God for a 20 carat diamond ring, the biggest diamond, a million dollar ring, and you come out, you be doing this. <laughs> Lord said, good. And you be talking to me. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I done made the ring of God instead of God. <laughs> you need to make it sense? Amen. So he trying to find out what's in you, where your heart at. Is your heart really toward me? If I was to give you all this pride, I said God was to give you. Huh. All of se. I mean all of it. If all you see is all you. And then here come on Popper and come on there. Get out of that pocket. <laughs> come on, let's see. You, you see what he's trying to do? He's trying to see why well, you going to leave mm -hmm. when I multiply you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, my God, my God. People change. Yes, we do. So these are the things he's doing to see what, mm, what in your heart. Which you do what, Lynn? Whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or not. Will you keep my command? Will you still love me? Will you still keep my commandment? Will you still obey me? Will you still care? If I give you all this, will you feed the home? Will you do what I tell you to do? Will you do that? This is what he's saying. He's checking us. He's checking your heart. If I get all your bills paid and I lay everything out that you don't have to be so concerned about other things, will you still give me what's mine? You get a million dollars, will you give me my 10% out of it? And 10% is a lot of money. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Come on, man. Yes, See, you got, I'll give y'all something. That's your little lot of money in the church. Come on. This is what he's saying. What, where, where are you at with me? You want to know where you at with somebody? Else? Yeah. You want to know that. I want to know how you feel about me. I might say something to see where you at. This is what he feels the same way. He ready to give out the rich to his people. Yes. But right now, he can't drop it like it hot to you yet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. I'm going to show you. Let's turn to Exodus 3. Oh, I'm sorry. 
and he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger. All right, he did what? And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger. So he humbled thee to suffer you to what? Hunger. To suffer and hunger. So he knows exactly how to get you. Yes, he showed you it's me that's doing this to you. Amen. <laughs> that way he did me. He said, I, 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 it, this is me doing this. No, it ain't the devil, but it's me. <laughs> no, I, the devil, get behind me, Satan. <laughs> you devil, you. <laughs> God said that. The devil, this is me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is me doing this. <laughs> you know how we do my talk. <laughs> get behind me, devil. I rebuke. She read the name of Jesus. And God said, Who you doing? I'm the one doing this. You can't tell me to get out of the way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So he he suffered that. Not that he ain't want you to have it, Lena. He just put it back there. It ain't in your reach, it's out of your reach. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Lord, it's day in life, mm -hmm. but it just ain't time for me to give it to you. Because I see, I still see a little angry in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, see, I still see something you want to roll your eyes a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see you getting a little upset when I say your car. I say smile, you're looking like this. Mm -hmm. You ain't showing me. Mm -hmm. You showing the world. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> Come on. So he calls something to get next to you. Yes, he does. Amen. Yes, he does. Then look at it. Mm -hmm. You can just about tell what he can use against you, but yeah. you ain't mm -hmm. know it's him. Yep. Amen. <laughs> Jesus was home. Mm -hmm. All right. He did that. What else he do? And fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. So he fed them with manna, which they knew it not. See, he already taken care of you. Yeah. You just don't know it. Mm -hmm. They just like the bill gonna let the council call you. Mm -hmm. The bill already paid, but he just gonna let you. Mm -hmm. When do you say something about it? The problem already solved it. He done solved it, but he gonna see if your comfort gonna change, start speaking what he said. He fed him with man. All right, come on. Which thou knowest not, uh -huh. neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee known that man doeth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. Do it, man live. He said, What? Okay. When I know it's not, you don't know why why did because we said, Lord, I don't know why this happened. Mm -hmm. Not did my father know. They didn't know. What they went through, they came out of Egypt, but they didn't know they were going in the wilderness. They didn't know. We sit and talk to God about things. We ask God to change things. We ask God to do something. Now, now. But he does it. But he don't do it the way you think. You he, you tell Lord, I need you to go there to Walmart and see that my layaway don't get put back. All right? <laughs> don't let my layer. I know I'm behind, Lord, but don't let my layaway go 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 back. And I might be trying to fight to get that money, and all. And then he trying to teach me to stop being so what? Prideful. Mm -hmm. I'm too proud to go and ask somebody to help me. Mm -hmm. Then finally when I realize I see pride in me. And I mean, Lord, I see what you're saying. I'm too proud. So, Lord, I repent for it. Mm -hmm. Then Lord turned around and said, all right. Mm 